welcome to a new video and today it looks a little different you might notice and a lot of people wanted me to play roblox so i dusted off the old account for something that i think is very similar to btd and i thought we could give it a try so i played a bit off stream so i could tell what was going on i mean off recording not off stream and uh i think this could be quite fun to have a video on so uh, let's begin. Well, I don't know what map to do, and I'm gonna try and get one without someone else. We'll just do this. So this server is called Tower Defense Simulator, and from what I can tell, it's very, very highly based off balloons. But obviously, it's robots characters. Um, we're gonna use a few mini gunners here. But I know that a few of the people that watch people that watch my videos play roblox and i thought it was just something fun to try i didn't know if there was a better tower defense there might be one out there but for now this is the best one and uh it's not too bad when i say it's kind of heavily based off um balloons i've never made it past round 40 but i know round 40 is the big boss round and uh you know, that obviously lines up to balloons. I don't know what's past that. I don't know if there's a bad in the game. I don't know if you have to get to around 100 and it just ends. I actually don't know. So if you've played this, uh, you can let me know, actually. It'd be quite useful. Um, certain towers, you just upgrade them. They don't have, like, paths, cross paths and stuff like that. It's a very simple game. Um, I actually played a Minecraft tower defense before, and they had paths. That was a, that was quite a fun game. That, but that was like a playing against people. It was more like PCD battles instead of a, just a regular tower defense. So we make money every round. Uh, we can upgrade our towers. We get an end of round bonus that increases as we go through. And when you get to forty seconds, you can skip the round. So the next set of rounds come out kind of like a, if you were playing a race and you get to just skip the round. Um, apart from that, they have camo. So there's something called invisibility and they have lead detection which is just like the game. I don't think I've ever seen a lead zombie though. I think there were zombies. We're just going to get some pretty good soldiers. Gotta get the deadlier soldier obviously. We collect these things up here and to this day I don't know what they are. I have 457. So if you play the game, you understand how much I've played. I've played that amount. They have these regular bosses. So this would be something kind of like a ceramic. But uh, none of the zombies go into other zombies apart from there's like a mystery zombie that when you kill it, it turns into like one of your regular zombies. But they're more of like a, just like a random thing. So I guess it's different in that way. It's a whole, yeah, a whole lot more simple. The strategy from what I've seen is to basically spam snipers and because uh, when the big guys come out and when I, what's that, did I mess up my placement? When the really big guys come out, not these guys, these guys are fairly small in comparison, they, uh, they have a lot of health and uh, single target damage is very, very important. Um, you can also change the targeting, so that's very similar. Although there is a couple different targeting things you can go through. Uh, I'm only gonna be playing this for one day. I thought this would just be something fun and different to uh, buy stuff for the week, and then there'll be a regular every other video for the next planned set of time. Is all balloons. I just thought it'd be something fun and different, and I mean. It'll do as good as it does. But these uh, these Inferno guys are a whole lot harder. They have 100 health and they move quite fast. Uh, definitely not one of the nicer balloons. It's very similar to a ceramic and it's just fast and has a lot of health. This is the big guy. This is it's called a slow boss. 1600 health. It's quite a lot. So I guess it's not really like a mob because... The round 40 boss has like 90,000 health. So it's uh, very different in that way. But I mean, it's in the same sort of vein as it's just 
the sc big scary boss that you have to kill. Now, uh, you have to buy towers, which is always fun, hard to get, but I actually don't even know how good any of the towers are. I should probably look that up if I was ever going to play this again, but I feel like uh, single target towers are very much the favourite, some would say. Not the favourite in terms of, um, they're just, they're just like, it's hard to say, but you can tell that the multi, ta multi balloon damage or multi zombie damage, sorry, they're just not really as good, not as useful, but I guess you always need some at the start, but even these soldiers are really single target, damn, these shock people are so hard, they go so fast. And, uh, I guess there's enough. I had like a mini gun. I think there's a, like a machine gunner. He would do solid work against whoever this is. I don't know. These are, these are definitely caused quite a problem. But I mean, even here, there's so much health. And we've got so many normal bosses just behind. Damn, two slow bosses. I don't think I'm going to make it to 40. This is a... Uh, Looking a bit dangerous. We're going to try and put one of... I don't actually use this tower very often. It's called the Hunter. But it doesn't have to go on like these high bits. It can also go on the low bits. And if I got this quite far... I'll put it on strong. It might be able to help with doing enough damage. But it looks like we might be done here. Because... Oh, pretty much all the snipers are still shooting actually. But this necromancer is causing us a real problem. Might need to just rush a tower at the end to help. But it looks like as long as we kill all of its friends. But I still might have to put a tower at the end. Let's lob a machine gunner back here. These electric guys are not good either. Oh, I, one went through. I leaked. Oh no. This is not good. Very bad, very bad. 1.8 seconds to do 24 damage or... 3.5 seconds to do 35. I guess this is also cheaper, but I mean, the sniper is just significantly better than this guy. But I guess if you don't have enough high spots, it still is quite useful. How much? Oh, they still have quite a big area. We're going to get two more of these. And then I think we'll do some other snipers. Um, oh no, we have the speedy boss. That's not good. The speedy boss is not easy to kill. Look at it, man. It goes so fast. I think we might just about get it, though. Yeah, it looks good, looks good. Because they can shoot in this little area here as well. Oh my god, this is not looking good, brev. Oh, look how many there are here. And there's a speedy boss. Oh. There's too many things. Oh, it's not looking good, Brev. This is a uh, bad news. Even with this good machine gunner at the back, I think it does quite a lot of damage in a burst, but look how much health they have. I think it's over. Get another machine, machine gunner for the lols, but well, not machine gunner, soldier. But no, that's GG's. I just need to get another tower or something because I just cannot do it. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, which will be balloons. See ya.